So this is my theory, and I may be wrong, so if I am wrong and you know that I'm wrong, please uh, message me and let me know and give me an example that shows me exactly how I'm wrong because I'd really like to know. So here it is. Am I wrong? All memoirs, maybe I, should, I can qualify it and say most memoirs, but let's go, let's go big. Go big or go home. All memoirs have a happy ending. Do you think that's true? I'm starting to think that it is. And, you know, happy endings can be defined in a, a lot of different ways. But let's say, which is another one of my theories, I think all memoirs are stories of self-realization in some fashion. So that, by definition, is a happy ending. Because I think that's why people want to write them. If you haven't reached some kind of equilibrium, some kind of self-realization, some kind of achievement, some kind of peace, why would you want to write a memoir at all other than to, you know, get revenge on people who did you wrong? And certainly nobody wants to read that, and very few people will publish it. Um, and I think anyway, um, leaving those kind aside, I think that's why people like to read memoirs, because they are stories of happy endings. Maybe not necessarily endings, but they're stories of ways in which people have managed to come to terms with probably some kind of difficult situation. Um, we all have, we'll use the word garbage. <laughs> we all have garbage that life throws at us. We're all trying to figure out how do we, you know, get through this with our sanity and our sense of humor intact. How do we make sense of, of what happens to us? How do we make sense of the world? Why do people do what they do? How do we make sense of other people? And if we can't make sense of them, how do we find compassion for them so that we're not bitter and angry? Because if you don't have compassion for people, then you, all you can do is you know, focus on what wrongs happen to you. And that doesn't make for a happy person doesn't make for a good read. So um, given that a memoir is a story of self-realization in some way, what might yours be? Maybe, maybe you don't have it yet. Maybe you aren't ready to write a memoir. But let's say you are probably because you are thinking, wow, all these extraordinary events happened to me. These amazing things happened to me. And people will want to read about them. One of the things I've discovered is that actually nobody cares what happened to you. But they care what effect what happened to you had on you. So that's the important thing. Not the events of your life, but what you made of those events, what those events made of you.